I can't wait to study again. Learning is so fun and I love the challenge. Hey guys, so I am going back to college. I am going the next possible semester to get my computer science degree. Yay, finally. Okay, so it's been a little over three years since I last was back in school. Honestly, right now, I am more than ready to go right now than when I was an 18 year old from high school. Everybody has their different time when they are ready and I definitely wasn't ready back then. I was still unsure about my decision, but but now I feel so confident and I'm so excited to actually go back to school. I really, really missed learning and I love learning about technology. Sometimes the math was a bit much, but I actually love math. And sometimes the computer science classes were a bit much. You know what? I love a good challenge. So this will be pretty fun. I feel like you know, I'm a lot more mature now. I'm going to be taking it a little bit more seriously, actually a lot more seriously because three years years ago, I was really lacking the confidence in my ability to finish. I am so grateful that I did take this time off. If I didn't take this time off, I think I would have gotten the rest of my degree completely hating it and I'll just have such a negative mindset when it comes to like my career and life and all of that. So I'm so thankful and grateful that I've had this opportunity to take a break. If any of you are in high school or college or especially if you're in college and you're feeling kind of the same way, kind of a little bit burnt out, feeling unsure if computer science or whatever degree you are choosing, but specifically computer science, if, if you feel like it's a bit much for you at the moment, but still something you want to pursue, I highly recommend taking some time off. I know it can be expensive and I know that it can kind of mess up with plans a little bit, but if you have the luxury to do it, I really, really recommend, or even if you don't, there's still ways how you can take like a gap semester or a gap year. Slow and steady definitely wins the race. You don't, it's not a race to the finish line. Like, so what if everyone you know in high school already graduated before you. There's no failure in mistakes. Mistakes help you grow and give you more clarity on what path you want to take in life. Let me give you guys a little backstory. So I originally found out in November of last year, so November 2018. Right now it is March 19th of 2019. I originally found out in November that I was supposed to be moving back to the US, to San Francisco. My boyfriend was originally looking for a job somewhere in the States because he knew I wanted to finish my degree, but something we didn't account for. My boyfriend's not a US citizen, by the way, he's from New Zealand. We didn't realize actually at the time when he was applying for jobs how difficult it would be for him to get to the US and thus even if he meets like all the criteria he still has a really small chance to get in. Because it's really difficult and very expensive for the company that's applying for his visa he's really limited to only really two places in the US for his profession and those two places are San Francisco and New York City. And now here's the other thing uh, he can't get his visa until October and and I kind of wanted to start as soon as possible, which would be uh, probably not the summer semester, but probably the fall semester of this year, which starts in August. And I'm like, well, if I want to start in August, and if he can't even come until October, how are we supposed to make that happen? Because I will be in college and not working, I obviously won't be able to uh, support myself financially, and especially somewhere like San Francisco. There's no way I want to use FAFSA or take on huge loans with uh, really bad interest uh, just so I could live in San Francisco when really I just want my degree. I don't really care what I get it from as long as it's in the US. I considered Singapore, but first of all, I didn't want to be tied down here for three years. Second of all, it's so much more expensive than what I would be paying in America. So I've been trying to get back to America for about two years now, but it's kind of hard now when you are in a relationship. Although my boyfriend and I started off on a long distance relationship, that was kind of a hard time for us. We felt like it was hard to be close to each other so far away. And you know, we both agree that our relationship is much better in person. I mean, it's definitely healthy to take some some time apart, but I don't want to take like the next almost three years apart from him when before when we did long distance, it was usually only for a few months, you know? 
And you know, long distance is not fun. I know some couples thrive off of it. I can definitely thrive off of small long distance. Like sometimes we'll be away from each other for a month and that's like no problem. I can do that anytime and we do that a few times a year. Long story short, James got offered a job in Silicon Valley. He has a very small chance of getting his visa, which we should find out by the end of April, beginning of May. Hopefully by the beginning of May, we should know for sure if he even has his visa issued but like I said he can't even move until October so it doesn't make sense for me to move in August when I can't even afford the rent there plus you'd be paying for rent in Singapore so it's not fair to ask him to pay for my rent when he's not even living there you know so it just doesn't make sense financially it doesn't make sense logically for me to be there especially since he only realistically guys he only has a 30% chance of getting in now we do have a plan B plan C and plan D but I will get into that some other time like we definitely have options after that but they're always going to be delayed by another few months so you know what it can actually be a long time before he even comes that's just the reality of it and on top of that I get in-state tuition in Utah and out-of-state tuition in California so obviously it makes more sense to go back to Utah right so surprise I am moving back to Salt Lake City and I am moving there probably like the end of July beginning of August I'm really excited because I get to spend more time with my friends and family and I get to finish where I left off and yeah I'm just super excited I'm not really excited for the long distance part because he and I will probably do long distance for um, at least two months, but it could be as much as like six months. So it's like, ugh. but at least during the breaks, we will see each other, obviously. Like I'll have a fall break in the middle of the semester and then I'll have Thanksgiving break. And then there's the Christmas break, which is a month long. So although we'll be, we will be spending a lot of time apart, I'll make the effort to spend like every break with him. Or if there's like a three day weekend, maybe I can fly out to San Francisco if he's already living there and he can fly out to Salt Lake City. So that's the little sucky part of about it but it's really just this one time hopefully and you know that's just how it has to be you know uh, we're both trying to build a career for ourselves and sometimes we can't get everything we want but you know what that's okay because I'm pretty excited to actually go back to Salt Lake City because I was a little nervous about San Francisco starting a new school I'm not familiar with but I'm really happy I can just like re-enroll in the last school I was in so I've been to two colleges in the U.S. now the first one was Salt Lake Community College I did that because I wasn't even really sure what university I wanted to go to and also I was a broke 18 year old so and I was just running out of time and then I decided you know what I know what degree I want to do so I'm just gonna go Salt Lake Community College because when I was in high school I did take some classes there so I was already familiar with the system and I just wanted something that was like as least stressful as possible at least for like the first semester or two but I ended up staying there I did eventually transfer to the University of Utah and I really regretted that decision because the classroom sizes were all of a sudden like like four times bigger and the campus was so much bigger and there was just a lot more things to figure out and surprisingly there weren't as many classes that I could take when I found that there was a better variety at Salt Lake Community College. That's where I last left off. I last left off at the University of Utah but I was looking at my college transcripts the other day and I figured out that as long as I play my cards right and I take the classes I need to take then according to the little simulator that that my um, college provides where you can uh, type in like a what if, like what if I took all these classes, what does that mean? And it says I'm eligible to graduate as long as I uh, take seven classes. When I say graduate, I mean graduate with my associate's degree, which if you don't understand how it works in America, in America you can get all sorts of different types of degrees, but uh, getting your associate's degree is halfway to your bachelor's degree. And I was thinking it's better in every way to just go and finish that associate's degree in Utah because that means when I transfer to a college in California to get my bachelor's degree, I won't lose any of my classes. Well, at least hopefully. Most colleges should just take the whole degree and not look at the individual classes. But if I were going exactly how I was now, I'll probably lose maybe a semester or two of classes 
classes because every school does it differently but and on top of that i'm eligible for uh, better jobs a uh, higher pay like if i decide i want to stop there i totally can even though an associate's degree doesn't mean much these days 20 years ago you could definitely have a career with that but it's still better than just being a high school graduate with some college completed because even if you say that you just had some college completed like no one will take you seriously when you go for interviews but if i at least say oh guys i have an associate's degree and i'm thinking about finishing my bachelor's there might be an employer out there that would be willing to pay for that while i go to school part-time or i don't know like i definitely have options okay so i have my transcript here on my iPad. So this is like a degree audit where I can see where my GPA is at and uh, I can see all the program requirements and then I was like okay well what if I took like these seven classes would that make me graduate and it says I meet all the requirements to graduate so that's pretty cool. So seven classes I can easily do in two semesters. I could technically do that in one but it will be really really hard because that's basically going to uh, that's basically doing like one and a half full time when it's better to just maybe do a part time online semester this summer and then finish the rest of the classes full time this fall. I'm not a fan of online classes. I've done them before and I found it was actually hard for me to stay motivated. I definitely like a few classes online, but definitely not all of them. So if I knew this information earlier, I probably just would have gone back to Salt Lake City in May because that's when the summer semester starts. So that way I could do it in person. But um, so our lease in this current apartment I'm in ends in like about a week. Yeah, like end of March, beginning of April. We had to think really fast because we have no idea like what's happening in our lives. And uh, so we found a co-living space to live in, but you need like a minimum of three months lease. So, but um, every month you can renew it for uh, 30 days until you tell the place, okay, I'm moving out in 30 days and then you get your deposit back. So it's great for people that have no idea where they're going to be long-term, but they need somewhere to live at least like right now. So we knew that we could commit at least to the next three months. But after that, we have no idea so my boyfriend and i actually just uh signed a lease in downtown singapore in one of those co-living spaces so we're actually gonna have roommates and stuff like that um it's really hard to find a place of your own with this short amount of notice especially on such a short lease because usually the minimum here in singapore is like one to two years like anything below two years is really hard to find like we are even fighting hard for this place that we're in now and we have to sign a two-year lease so like it's hard <laughs> to find a lease here actually that meets our criteria but you know what that's okay i double checked online to make sure i can take some classes online and yes i can and i was just taking a look at like how hard are they gonna be it doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult to do online like at least more difficult than in person especially since they're just elective classes so i've one computer science class left to take and I'm gonna take that this fall so I can give myself more time to prepare for that and I would much rather be in person for that computer science class than do it online so that way I have like a I really like face-to-face -face lectures some classes are nice to take online especially the ones that you just don't care that much about but I really deeply care about my computer science classes and I want like the best quality that I can get so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm starting college in a little over a month and yeah, I'm so excited I already applied and I have to sign up for my classes soon once I get more information because they're still like reviewing my documents and stuff like that. And once all that is sorted, then I can sign up for classes. It's just crazy. That was only a few weeks ago that I had no idea where I was going to be, what I was going to do, when I'm going to move to America, where I'm going to live, where am I going to go to college. I at least have the rest of 2019 planned out, which feels really good. And I'm just really happy with this decision. And because it takes a while to apply for universities versus like a community college, because community college you can sign up within like two weeks before, a proper university you need to apply like almost a year in advance. Because of that, this summer I'm already gonna start applying for um, a bachelor's degree program in California. That is until I know for sure that James is moving to California because I don't want to like start throwing all my eggs in a basket and find out it's not happening. I'm also going to be looking for some scholarships since you know i am on my own with this degree i don't expect anybody to help me out unless i obviously deserve it like for example like financial aid or uh, scholarships especially scholarships i 
have no idea what to do when it comes to scholarships. I don't know where to apply. I don't know where all these mystery free scholarships are because I'm definitely looking for them and I can't seem to find any. If you guys know of any scholarships with women in tech and you know, I do go to a community college or I will be going to community college. And I just remember in the past, the amount of scholarships that they have were almost nothing. Like seriously, they have like a few scholarships. There's like nothing there. It's, pr it's probably because it's not a big expensive university, but I I will be looking for scholarships that can help subsidize or pay for my studies in California. So if you guys know of any, please let me know. That'll help me out so much. I can't wait to study again. Learning is so fun and I love the challenge. I should never be a singer or a rapper or anything because I can't even make my words rhyme. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just going to end the video here. I would like to make some more videos relating to college. I've just been so busy the last few months, literally traveling. If you follow my main Instagram, which is Brianna in Singapore, you would see I'm traveling so much, like, and I'm usually gone for a long time. So that's part of the reason why I've not been so active on this channel. And I just felt like after my boot camp was over, I didn't have much to film or talk about anymore. So if you guys would like some more updates about college, because I'm starting my college prep now. So I think that'd be kind of cool. I can show you guys along like what I'm doing and all of that. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.